Welcome. I am there's the traditional 10 minutes late, you know, you know, fashionably late to your own live. Um, everyone is already chatting it up. I haven't done a, a Monday live in a quite some time, right? I saw someone comment on that. Um, but let me just scroll up. Okay, first I'm going to start with what I'm drinking because if I don't, I will forget. <laughs> so this I've talked about before on my channel, I know at least once. Um, this is the Livewire pre-made cocktails, canned cocktails. They are phenomenal. They're so good. Um, and th they're really interesting. They're really, really different. Oh my goodness, Meredith is here. Hi, Meredith. Harlan misses you. <laughs> I'm sure you're much more peaceful wherever you are. <laughs> um, anyway, so the, yeah, the, the flavors are really interesting. So if you, if you try these, you just need to be ready for like a flavor explosion. You know what I mean? Like there's lots of different flavors in here. So this is gin with coconut, honeydew, lime leaf, and elderflower. And I put it in a fancy glass and I put a little extra gin in, which is so unnecessary, but so necessary. There are so many flavors in there. It's like out of hand. You've got to try this. Um, hold on. Let me, I feel like my computer is delayed. Hold on a second here. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me scroll back up and see who's here. Oh my goodness, Chase is here, Janet is here, Jennifer, Angie, Emily, <clears throat> Anne M, Emily Floor. Um, Ageless Beauty 416. Educon is here, he said, hey guys, I'm here but not quite well. I've got intoxicated by Citalpram. Oh no, I've been very ill. Oh no, that's horrible. I'm so, I don't know what that is, but that's terrible. Um, well, actually on a similar, kind of similar note, I had a horrible stomach bug the last three days. I mean, real not fun. <laughs> so I, I usually get a video up on Sunday nights, but I was just like out, down for the count. Um, just like nauseous and all that fun stuff. But you know what? I woke up today and I was totally better. I'm totally better. So it definitely was like a bug for sure. Um, also this, this thing right here that I completely did to myself, please, please try to disregard. Um, I just tried to do my own extraction, you know, like you shouldn't do. And I don't, I, I like never do that. I don't know what happened. It got the best of me. I don't know what to say. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks, Anne. Okay. So what we're doing today is we are, I got a huge box from the goddess attainable. I'm pro extraction. I am too, but like professionally done. <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, I just, I really, I'm really very quite, very quite. I'm really very quite regretful about this. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. We can't go back in time, can we? Um, what was I saying? I don't even know. Oh yeah. What we're doing here today. So Hi, Stephen Ford. We're going to do ColourPop. And ColourPop sent me their new spring collection. It looks really fun. It's called the ColourPop Daisy Does It Collection. It's pretty big. They sent me a lot of products. Um, so I'm going to show, I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to use some of them. Some of them I'm going to, some of them, sorry. I obviously haven't talked in three days either. Um, some of them, like the palette, I'm just gonna keep for a giveaway. I'm gonna open it up and show you what it looks like, but then I'm gonna put it away. Cause let me tell you, 
I'm it's time it's almost time for a giveaway when I hit 25k there's a lot of stuff I've been collecting over here as much as I love ColourPop I do not need two palettes a week I I do not um <laughs> thank you so much ColourPop also calm down but thank you so much but please calm down um devil is in the details is here it's springtime warmer weather so all the microbes are out yeah exactly that weather change you know okay so a lot of this is color pop but like some of it's not i filled in i'm not you know i'm tr I'm, I'm over here trying to pull a state of kate which is basically to really only keep the things i love and so I decluttered some color pop stuff that was really old. I decluttered their bronzer, their powder that they don't even sell anymore. Um, I decluttered their eyeliners. I decluttered <laughs> their, their first pretty fresh foundation, which I really do love, but it was old. So anyway, we're going to fill in the blanks here with some other things, but, um, yeah, so Hold on a second. So let's just, let's just get in there. Oh, I know Monica said the gnats are back. Yes, there are already fruit flies in the kitchen because it's warm out. Cause that's just what they love. Hey, Martina Lily. It's nice to see you here. Um, It's interesting to see like who shows up on what days. You know what I mean? Cause I know certain days don't work for certain people. So anyway, thank you guys all for being here. I'm going to just like get rolling. We're going to get right in there. Um, hi, Shay. So this Deborah Ramirez Breckenridge. Hello. Oh, good. We're drinking. It's only 430, but I can't very well let you drink alone. No, you cannot. No, you cannot let me drink alone. You have the right idea. Um, okay. So this is the In Beauty Face Glaze, which I'm going to use as a primer. I do have some skincare on. I'm going to be very, I am going to put makeup on this, but I'm going to be, you know, careful, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay. Oh my goodness. What's, what's happening? What's, what's the haps? What's the news? I'm trying to think of things I've like taken in, in these last few days. Um, this face glaze is amazing, Ariane. I agree. Thank you guys. People are commenting on my top. Thank you. This top is, I think it's from, it's old. I think it's from one of those, I hate to say it, but like fast fashion Shine, Shine, however you pronounce it. I'm kind of like just, ugh. okay. Um, it's really warm here today. Oh, so, so, oh, Soraya is here. Oh my God, Soraya is the girl, the woman, excuse me, that I met, um, the subscriber that I met on the street last week or so, I think. It's so good to see you here. Uh, here, I'm here watching silently in the background. I support that. I totally support that. <laughs> um, the Goddess Attainable said, chatting with guys on Hinge right now while I watch Kate, recently single. Okay. Uh, hey. Listen, you get in there and you multitask. You get in there. Oh, so, so, oh, damn it. So, Soraya, Soraya, do you live in Harlem? I just assumed you did, but why would I assume that? I don't know that. Um, Liz Chambers is here. Head here. Hello, Liz Chambers. Okay. Okay. So while I'm yammering, I'm going to put on the, so I do have a pretty fresh foundation from ColourPop. This is a little bit newer and newer meaning like in the last couple years, but this is their hyaluronic hydrating foundation. It's a medium coverage. I like it. It's not like my favorite of all foundations, but I do like it. So we're, oh gosh, I hope it's not too dark. 
Ooh, ooh, really a little dark. Let me mix something else in. We'll bring over Chantecai to save the day. It's a little bit lighter than this. Yeah, that's that's too dark. Whoa. Okay. Soraya said, then I saw you again a few weeks after and I was hesitating, but I said, I have to say something this time around. Oh my gosh. It was my second time seeing you, but I didn't want to bother you the first. Oh my God. That's so sweet. That's so, that's so, oh my God. I'm, I'm sure I looked like a wreck. I look, when I, guys, when I go out to run errands, I, I'm not looking my best. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine, but like, you know. Sarai is reminding me maybe I need to put a little bit more, not because she said this, but because I'm like, oh God, what was I wearing that day? What what expression did I have on my face? <laughs> anyway. Um, Oh, she said, I look the same in person. Great skin. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so this, again, this is a combination of the two very, very different price points. The, uh, the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop and the Chantecai Future Skin. Michelle Wong is here. Oh, she, oh my gosh, what a treat. I, she said, I did start watching Euphoria because of Kate. <gasps> I, I mean, I'm an influencer. I don't know if you guys knew this, but duh. Uh, anyway, I think Michelle is mostly liking it, she's told me. So that's good. I always kind of like cringe a little bit when I <laughs> recommend something to somebody and they end up not liking it. I'm like, ugh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, Michelle Wong, I was influenced. Yes. <laughs> I'm scrolling up here just to see what I missed. Uh, so anyway, I'm all caught up on euphoria. Don't worry. I'm not going to do any spoilers. Devil into details. Good to know Kate isn't using a crazy amount of filters and looks as good in real life as the online version. Thank you. Yeah, there are no filters here, okay? We're, we're not Tati over here. I mean, oh, sorry. I don't know. Does she use, she uses, she uses filters. <laughs> I was going to try to like, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. But also like, why? Because clearly. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not, I, I mean, I don't want to say we're not to that level because even, I hope that I would never use filters. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Is it like a, this is what an idiot I am. Do you like go and buy a filter for your camera? Like I literally don't even know what the logistics of that are. <laughs> I don't understand. This is what I mean. I don't know things. Like literally over here, just living on in the dark. Um, <laughs> oh no, the Udo pantograph. I love that Chantecai future skin. I'm so clumsy. I spilled mine in the sink. Oh no, <gasps> that's tragic because this is spency. Okay, I think we're almost good with the foundation. Yeah, this looks really good. I mean, whatever, I'm not surprised, but. Um. Anyway, okay, so what have I been watching? Okay, so I highly recommend, first things first, 
highly recommend the new show that Amy Schumer has on Hulu called Life and Beth. Has anyone watched it? Bueller. Bueller. Um, it's really, really, really funny. <laughs> and I love Amy Schumer um, just across the board, but I have to say, I think this is probably my most favorite thing she's done. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Um, you know, she's just on the struggle bus again, like <laughs> a lot of her, her, uh, movies. It's a show though. I binged it and I'm not a binger when it comes to watching shows, but I said, I watch five in a row. They're 30 minutes a piece. And I was LOLing all over the place. And I think I've said this before. I'm not a huge, like, laugh out loud person. Even if something's really funny or entertaining, I might not like belly laugh out loud. But wow, this really had me. <laughs> it was really good. Um, it's called Life and Beth. Life, ex like life and death, except life and Beth. Um, this is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Another show kind of along the same lines, like in terms of plot line that I've been enjoying is called, shoot, let me look it up. Wait, I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to get it wrong. I just know it. Somebody, somebody somewhere. And it's on HBO Max and it stars um, Bridget Everett, who is also a brilliant comedian. Um, I think also, th yes, 30 minute episodes and, sh you know, she's kind of like the odd man out black sheep with her family's town in Kansas. It's really funny. <laughs> Slash poignant. We love that. I'm trying to think if there's anything. I think I might need to go back and watch rewatch the Amy Schumer series because I'm having, it might have, this is why I don't binge things. Cause it's like, if I take it, you know, too much in at one time, I don't remember everything. Um, oh, I know Michael Sarah's in it and he is a delight and it's semi-autobiographical, I think. So basically kind of telling a story about her and her husband because her husband's autistic, I believe. Yes. Um, and so Michael Sarah kind of plays, from what I can tell, like her husband-ish, <laughs> kind of. Um, okay, let me check the comments here. Sorry, it's just going on and on. Um, The dropout. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, wait, who's ho Janet Gorman? I'm looking forward to her co hosting the Oscars. Wait, who's co hosting the Oscars? Oh my gosh, I should know this, but I do not. The Oscars are this, yeah, a week from tonight, right? Oh, Amy. Oh, she is? Oh, wow. Well, that'll be awesome. <laughs> I hope. Maybe she'll, like, loosen things up a little bit. Um, what did I hear recently? I forget who I was watching about, like, people who host award shows. But I guess... I can't remember who it was, but they were talking about how Ellen gave them the advice that you should do all your funny shit up front, like get in all your funniest material because as the evening goes, because everyone, no one knows who's going to win at that point. So everyone's like in a good mood and good spirits, but as the night progresses and you know, more winners get announced and there are more losers, people are less likely to laugh. And so you want to get in 
the good stuff while you can. Isn't that interesting? I never, I never thought of that, but that completely makes sense. Um, Ageless Beauty 416, Kate, have you watched the Gilded, oh, sorry, no. Have you hate watched the Gilded Age lately? You know, <laughs> no, and I, that show bores the hell out of me. It's like, I, tr I, tr I like try to watch for five minutes and I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not, mm. I do know, actually, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to catch up on it because I, I, I want to know, but it's going to not be my favorite thing to do. Um, Okay, next I'm going to take this bronzer, which is the, oh my goodness, Agnieszka Piastrovix. <laughs> I have no idea if I've ever pronounced her name correctly, is here. Welcome. Okay, so this is the Rare Beauty uh, Warm Wishes <laughs> bronzer stick in the shade Power Boost. I'm gonna try to really work around that freaking thing on my face. Okay. And I'm going to take, oh, my bronzer brush. Actually, you know what? I want to use a sponge. I want to use a sponge. That's what I want. Okay, Stephanie May. I got the Fenty Skin Tint and I'm enjoying it for the warmer weather. Are you talking about the body sauce? Because if you are, you need to call it the body sauce, okay? <laughs> it's important to... I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. It's just that name. It's like, why did it have to be that? You know what I mean? I mean, I'll say it until the end of time because it's such a great product. But like, Fenty, you guys are usually so good at naming things. <laughs> why? Why? Hi, Jamie K. Kate, oh, you, Libby, the goddess attainable, thank you. Um, I mean, my skin isn't perfect, especially not today with this <laughs> that I inflicted upon myself, but thank you. Okay, so, so yes, L Life and Beth somebody somewhere and then we've been trying to catch up on oscar movies um like best picture movies you know remember that i i live with an intense cinephile okay it's the whole thing so just to be clear we have a baseball hat and randy has written shredded up pieces of paper and written each best picture name on each piece of paper and put it in the hat and I have to draw draw from the hat okay that's that's how intense we are around here so last night I drew drive my car has anyone seen this it is a foreign language film but it is up for several awards including best picture it is Japanese and it is so amazing truly truly like a work of art it is three hours long okay it's three hours long it's also like I don't want to it's like I want to do it justice because it, it it's such an incredible story I'm like how did someone even think of this 
Um, but it's kind of like loosely based, kind of like a loose adaptation. This is going to make you not want to watch it, but of um, Chekhov's Uncle Vanya. Does anyone, I'm sure people know what that is. That's, um, I mean, I had to read that in college. I had to read Chekhov in college. I mean, I hated it. It was, <laughs> it was the driest most, I, I don't even, I didn't even retain it. I just read it and just, there was just like noodles in my head. I, whew, it was really intense. And so, but it's more than that. It's more than that. You should definitely see it. If you can handle a three hour movie. It was long. Um, Amy Whitehouse, I sat through the Batman. I can sit through anything now. Funny story, Randy's actually seeing the Batman right now for a second time. Commitment. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the comments. <laughs> Okay, so Melissa J, Tinder Swindler is a trip. So I am gonna do my brows while I talk about this. This is just the Kosas brow products. All, everything is linked in the description box as per usual if you don't know what I'm using or th the shades are linked as well. Um, What the hell was I just gonna say? What was I just gonna say? Someone tell me. Wow, I am <laughs> struggles mixed struggles over struggle sons over here. Wow. I have no idea. Oh, Tindler Swindler. Okay, thank you, Anne. <laughs> okay, so that's probably why I forgot because I have to say I I watched that. I watched three fourths of it and it was intro. I mean, it was like, wow, that's wild and insane. But then I got to a point and I was like, yeah, I get it. I get it. We understand you're repeating the same behavior with all these women. And I don't know. I just, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I just lost interest. Everyone is like dying about it. And again, I did think it was interesting, but after it was long too, it was like two hours long. I'm like, couldn't this have been like an hour and 15? Anyway, if only I ran things. <laughs> um, I also found myself, I don't know. No, no, I just was irritated. I was irritated by that show to be completely honest. And while I do think that it was horrible and what, what happened to those women is horrible, I also just felt like I could be taking in other things that mattered more. I don't know. I don't know. Someone's going to come for me about that. But I was just like, okay, this is upsetting and sad, but like moving on. <laughs> um, so I guess I wasn't as, as like blown away by that as, as some people were. Um... The Udo Pentagraph. There's also another show called Bad Vegan. Yeah, I, I've seen that. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking about. Another show about a woman giving away tons of money. I'm sorry, but I don't get it. Well, that's good. I hope you don't get it, and I hope you don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually... Thank you for helping me hit the nail on the head or or be clear about why it bothered me. I just... And no one is victim shaming here. Okay, let's make that very clear. No victim shaming. I'm just saying that it, I was like, girl, no, what are you doing? Why are you giving this man, what? Taking out loans of like tens of thousands of dollars? What is happening? That is wild. That is wild. I, I wouldn't even do that for Randy. And we're in a serious relationship. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I guess I would try. I don't know. That's a lot of money. 
I was, I was annoyed. I was annoyed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. I will also say, <laughs> and another thing, I will also say this. The first woman, her name is Cecily, I believe. Cecily, Cecily. Um, I just can't think of a better example of how the Disney princess fantasy that's been forced upon us is working against women and always has. I'm just like, I, like I almost couldn't, like that was actually the hard part for me when she was like talking about her love, her love, her love story with this guy, which I don't mean to sound shitty. Okay, I really don't because I understand that she was infatuated, but I was also like, girl, 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 just like pie in the sky, just like, like Disney prince fantasies with like horses and like childhood <laughs> wishes. I was just like, no, no, no. Oh man, I, it was hard to watch. It was really, really hard to watch for me. I think that might, that might be what I'm saying. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. Um, I have not seen Woman in the House across the street with the hoodish wada bada wada wada wine. I haven't seen that. Um, Okay. So, drive my car. Okay, we saw that last night. You know what I was made to watch because I also drew it out of the hat? Dune. Okay, and listen, I, again, again, like gorgeous film, like piece of art, like, Totally am looking at, at that like, wow, this is incredible, truly. I almost died of boredom. I was just like, and I told her, I'm like, Randy, you know space. I don't do space. He's like, I know, but it's like, it's not, it's space, but it's like the desert. I'm like, okay. Like, Okay, I'm like, I'm only allowing this because it's the Oscars. But I almost died. <laughs> I don't like space. It was dry as hell. Everything was like drap, whatever. I'm not, I know that Dune is beloved, okay? We love, we love Dune. Except I don't, but you love Dune, and that's okay. <laughs> I can't with that. I, I literally... Randy turned to me after the movie. He's like, what'd you think? And I was like, well, I mean, I, I can say I saw it and that's good. Um, oh yeah, I don't do, I, I've said this before, but I know there are probably some new people here. I don't do space things. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't do action in space. I don't do, like I the minute something is set in like or futuristic things. The minute is something something is set like in a futuristic place. I and guys, I try. I try to stay tuned. I try to be like just like two picks in the eyes like really and I will just my mind will just wander. <laughs> because I can't it's boring. And the thing is, I feel like it's, it's more like atmospheric and about, I like things that are generally like character driven. And I find that those things are very just plot driven. And the minute like some sort of ship comes into the frame, I'm out. I'm like, I literally said to Randy before, that's a ship. You promised me and that's a ship, not Dune, but other things. He's like, it's a ship. 
kind of like thing. It's not exactly, it's, it's a ship. <laughs> it's a spaceship. Don't you try to twist it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a space movie. <sighs> yes, I have space hate Libby. Yes, I, okay, space movies I like. See, Back to the Future. It's an exceptional, I, I do enjoy that because it also has like different elements to it. Also Michael J. Fox. I've never seen Spaceballs. Um, okay, now I have to stop talking about how much I hate space because I have to show you these shadows. Well, no, first is what we're gonna do. The, I didn't, I don't think I saw gravity. I was made to see Alien. It was fine. I just, there's so much hype around it. I was just like, yeah, it was okay. I didn't find it scary. I found it gross. I didn't find it scary. People are just, I love this. People are throwing space things out at me. E.T. I saw that when I was very little and I was very upset. I'll never forget it. Cause the first thing I remember, one of the only things I remember about it, cause I think I was five was in that opening scene at the table where someone calls that kid penis breath out. Like I was outraged. I was five. I was so, I've never forgotten that. And now when I see a clip of that or something, it just brings it all back. <laughs> I was a very easily frightened child. Okay. Wow. The goddess attainable said alien stinks. Sorry. Them's, them's fighting words, I think. Um, <laughs> Tiffany Anderson, Kate talking smack about half our childhood movies. Listen, if you give me more, I'll blow your mind. I'll bring up Goonies. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm not even going to move on to the color pop. I'm just, I'm in this, we're, we're going to see this conversation through and that's, and that's that. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I wish, I really wish Randy was here, honestly, because he would die at this conversation. Um, Ghostbusters is, I didn't see it as a child. I was also, again, saw it with Randy. Um, I love Bill Murray. I love the comedic aspect of it. I watched the cartoon Ghostbusters when I was little. So does that count? Um, wait, let me scroll back up. Labyrinth. I haven't seen Labyrinth. I know. Don't. I know. I know. Amy Whitehouse, what's your genre? Um, really anything but those things. Like I could really do anything but those. Carrie Thompson is here. Avatar, fight me. No, absolutely not. I saw that in theaters and I was like, no. <laughs> I'm losing. Uns People are unsubscribing as we speak. Um, go <laughs> Lisa L. Ghostbusters. People get so... People get so intense about childhood shit, like childhood movies and TV shows. It's wild. Like, okay. See, people are using all... <laughs> Tiffany Anderson talking about Labyrinth. It's David Bowie. I wasn't really into Bowie all my life. I know. Wow. Listen, I'm just like telling truths. What do you want from me? You're asking me things. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. <laughs> I like David Bowie now, but it, I didn't grow up listening to David Bowie. So I didn't give a shit about that. That meant absolutely nothing to me. Um, like David Bowie now, everyone calm down. <laughs> Meredith Inglesby loves my truth. <laughs> Thank you, Meredith. Wait, I just scroll back up. I, I'm not kidding. I'm literally not even playing makeup right now just to see this conversation through. 
Liz Chambers, Kate's hate for space movies is like me with country music. Okay. Okay. I know some of it is beautiful and sincere and talented and great and everything. I just can't with it though. Fair. See, you know, that is, I accept that. I will accept your answer, <laughs> Liz Chambers. I love that. I feel like there's a little bit too much bronzer on my nose. I also am feeling like this foundation is kind of matte, but I think I'm going to de declutter this. I'm not going to lie. I think this is going in the trash after that sounds terrible. Also, it's very used. Okay. Also, I'm not going to pick this up. It's fine. I'm just not going to use it again. Okay. Wait. Okay. 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 Chase, I guess I have space hate and lack of childhood nostalgia. Now I know. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, Janet Gorman doesn't like the Goonies either. Okay, the Goonies. I was just gonna say. I just don't like the Goonies, but that's not really, I've said this so many times on my channel, but I, it's one of those things where I feel like a lot of these things are caught up in nostalgia, right? Like it's like you were a kid and that's why you love it. You know, and some things do stand the test of time and you could show it to like a full grown 38 year old woman and she'd be like, I've never seen this before, but thank God I did now. That doesn't happen a lot, okay? <laughs> but, it, I just feel like Goonies, I can't with that. I can't with that. I mean, watching a bunch of children, like supposedly, I don't know what, save the day. I'm just like, I, I don't need, I don't need to see that. I don't want to see, I don't want to see that. If you know, you know. I don't want to see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got better things to watch. That's another genre I don't like, like adventure, like kids adventuring. Like, I don't, I don't really like kids and I don't like adventuring. I mean, I don't want to tell you. It sounds like I like nothing. Name something I like, for God's sake. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody somewhere. Goddess Attainable, Hunger Games. Yes, I will allow it. I do enjoy that. I do have... Actually, I find that dystopian stuff can be really fascinating slash one of the most terrifying things ever. So yes, Hunger Games, I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> Tiffany Anderson, Birdcage. Wow, Tim Tiffany Anderson came in from left field with Birdcage. Um, I'm sorry, you have to ask? Birdcage is like my life. <laughs> It's not my life, but I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Also not on par with the Goonies and, and whatever else we're talking about. But also just throw out random shit at me because I'm into it. Carrie Thompson, I have not seen Burlesque. I've never seen Burlesque. Um... <laughs> Janice, you may have liked Goonies more if you were a 10 year old boy. Yeah, probably. Not that, not to put a gender on that movie because girls can like it too. Do you see how many disclaimers I'm having to do up here? I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay. Wow, we're just throwing out all the movies now. Anna, Dirty Dancing. Oh. I mean, now stop it. Of course, Dirty Dancing? I've seen that movie like one billion times. I, I did like a live stream about it years ago. I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Let's step away. Although this won't be nearly as interesting, probably. But probably what some people came for. Okay, so I was going to show you the palette really quick. Again, I am going to save this palette for somebody else. But this is, look at how, I mean, their palettes really are just so beautiful. It kind of kills me that I get sent so many 
don't use them. But, um, so this is the Daisy Does It palette. And it's really, really pretty. It's very springy. I'm not going to swatch it because I want it to remain untouched. I'm sure somebody out there somewhere will, will swatch these. Um, I'm not going to lie. This doesn't like, I'm not like loving this for, I don't know. It's kind of warm tone for me. I don't know. I'm just not into it um, personally, but I'm sure it's amazing. Okay. They also sent me, um, the creme gel liner kit. Sorry. Which is very cute. It's very cute. It's got all these eyeliners. Look at how adorable. You guys know, I, I'm, I'm trying, again, I'm trying to be more stringent. I'm trying to keep what I love. There's no way I'm going to use these. So I'm going to save these for, <laughs> Chase said that's a boring palette. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to save these for somebody else. But I do, I do think their liners are really nice. They're a nice option for an inexpensive, uh, creamy liner. Okay. You guys are killing me. Ann M. Oh, wow. Ann M's coming with a hot take. Okay. I'm going to show you two of the shadows and then we're going to scroll back up and come back to what I was going to say about Ann M. Pins and needles. Okay. So they sent me. Oh, shit. Okay. It didn't break. They sent me all of their super shocks the that go with this collection so i'm gonna swatch all these for you because i am gonna keep them because i love super shocks so this is the shade beloved beloved just you know kind of a it's kind of got a little bit of like a, it's like a light gold, I guess I would say. That doesn't really show up very well on my super pale skin. Um, and then this is called Entranced. Whoo! She's bright. And oh, wow. Oh, that is amazing. I'm telling you, super shocks. Now we showed two of the super shocks. I'm going to go back up <laughs> because we can't let this die. Um, oh, Anne said, I'm a John Hughes movie kid. And while I still love all the movies, many of them are cringeworthy. I mean, yes, I, I do love John Hughes movies. I will say, Anna, oh, 16 Candles was awful in 2022. I, that was like one of them that I missed, 16 Candles. And I, I, I watched it. No, that's not true. That's not true. I watched it as a teenager. I remember. I just never liked it. I never got it. I felt like it was, I felt like it was kind of cringe back then. I just never got into that. Um, but I love Pretty in Pink. Um... Hi. Oh, Miss 80s Movies and Music. Hi. Hi. Oh, Breakfast Club. I do love Breakfast Club. Uh, Beyond the Skin with Michelle. Footloose. The old one, not the new one. Well, I mean, if you've been watching my channel for a while, when I was doing a, I was doing my channel while I was working a, as a performer on a cruise ship, and that's the show I did. I did Footloose. So I love Footloose. I think it's fantastic. And I like both versions because I'm crazy. But the first one's be better, obviously. Okay. Um, Miss 80s, movies and music. 
some kind of wonderful is my favorite Hughes written film. I need to see that again. I don't think I really remember that. That was that's Patrick Dempsey, right? And Eric Stoltz. Okay, let's watch it. Be, oh my God, there's so many. I don't even know what I'm gonna use. We're just gonna just gonna fly by the seat of our pants here. Liz Chambers is throwing out reality bites. Wow, Liz Chambers loves to unknowingly throw out things that I hate. No, I'm kidding. I don't hate reality bites. I just, I think I need to see it now as an adult because I saw it, I wasn't into the 90s. <laughs> you didn't know this, but you thought you came to a color, uh, like a live stream about color pop, but you really came to hear me talk about just things that I hate. Um, I, yeah, I, the, the 90s was not, I was alive in the 90s. I grew up in the 90s. I was not a kid. I like, didn't like any of the styles. I didn't have, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know all the cool things. I didn't listen to the grunge bands. I didn't wear the hideous, I wore my own hideous 90s clothes, not the ones we all know and love today. Um, <laughs> I, I hated the 90s. <laughs> Chase, this is what I came for. <laughs> Kate with the hate. Oh my God. Oh, that's hilarious. Shay just said that. But I actually had a troll like really say that. She's like, Kate, but Kate the hate. I know you don't mean it that way though, Shay. Um, oh, oh, Patrick Dempsey was not in some kind of wonderful. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm making... I'm thinking of something else. Oh no, I love Clueless. See, there are exceptions. There are exceptions. Okay, so this looks like a color that's gonna be right up my alley. This is called Boutonniere. Yeah, I mean, yes, that I can do. That I can get behind. That's more of like a champagne. Oh, I'm thinking of Can't Buy Me Love. Okay, got it. Oh, got it. Well, who is in Some Kind of Wonderful? Okay. Um, okay, this is called Corsage, which is clever. Corsage. Isn't that, that looks pretty, right? Like a frosty... I mean, that might not be for everyone, but that's like a seafoam green, right? That's so pretty. Their super shocks are just, I do love their, their pressed pigment palettes or whatever they're called, but they can't compare to the super shocks. They, they just can't. Shea Extreme, do you remember Reckless? Okay, does that have Eric Stoltz in it? Because I was also... I think I know what that is. And I was in that play in college. If it's the same thing. <laughs> Devils into details. Thank you. I took six years of French only to be able to pronounce things and not to speak the language. You're welcome. Who else is yelling at the screen? I love it. I love it. I love it when you get angry at the things I'm saying. Um, oh, Leah Thompson. Mm. <laughs> now I'm just like getting really, really just like honest about like, I don't dislike Leah Thompson. I just don't, I kind of, I don't like Leah Thompson. So she, she had that, what was that Caroline in the city? That's, I just couldn't get into her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is Caroline here? Is she watching? I hope not. I just never understood. I was like, what? I don't understand. Like what? I don't get it. Um, oh, say anything. Okay. That's actually a movie that Randy has been wanting me to rewatch with him. Um, kind of randomly, but I do love that. And that is, see, that's an example of a movie that I saw as an adult. And I was like, no, this is good. Like, this is actually legitimately good. 
it happens. Oh, Leah Thompson played the snobby rich girl that Eric Stoltz wanted to date, but then ended up with Mary Stewart Masterson. Okay. Wow. I might have to go back and I don't know. Maybe not. 10 things I hate about you. I loved that. Loved that. Could have done without Julia Stiles. But honestly, the thing is, she's really, she plays her type so well. She, she, she did it well. <laughs> Janice, you're not angry. You're passionate. Shay, we're not even talking about anything specific anymore. Like we're just talking, apparently we're just talking about whatever. We're just throwing out things. <laughs> Um, bye, Emily. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Carrie Thompson is like really not holding back about how she feels about Julia Stiles. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to say that out loud. <laughs> um, Stephen Ford, Kate is what, what is your favorite? We're going to come back. I mean, maybe not. We'll see. We might come back to all this. Kate, what is your favorite makeup remover balm? The Beauty Pie Balm. Like, you'll know it because there's only one. It's amazing. Okay, this is... You know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to swatch this because I'm not going to use this. I would, I, this looks amazing. I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to save that for somebody else. And now I'm going to swatch this. This is, oh, that, that shade was called Water Me. Water Me. And this is called Ray Day, which looks gorgeous, like a shiny lavender. Oh, my God. I know. I know what you're thinking, Libby. You're like, are you sure you don't want to swatch that last shade? I am because as, as much as I think that shade is probably incredible, I will never in a million years put a shade that dark on my eyes and wear it around. Okay. I think that's all the super shocks. So what am I going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use two of them because these are my favorites that I swatched. I'm going to use the pinky purpley shade that I just froke out about. And I'm going to use the champagne shade. Uh, Boutonniere. thank you Megan my earrings I didn't even oh yeah these are just the earrings that I keep in my ears like all the time so I kind of forget that they're there but thank you I don't hate Julia's I just want to make it clear I don't hate Julia Stiles I just am like whatever um I don't know why I had to just make that clear <laughs> Oh my goodness. Emmy, I wish Super Shocks were described better about their texture. Textures. I have bought some that turned out to have specks of glitter that stick in my pores. Oh, I see. Understood. Okay. So we're going to take the, the pinky purpley shade. Well, here's the thing with Julia Stiles. This is why I, I hesitate to like go on about that because I really do think that I mean when I watched her when I was growing up I I just thought she was a drag and I did I did I was like oh she's a bitch and then like now I look back on that and I'm like well that was just internalized misogyny within me <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't because she actually played those roles very well and she was very angsty and like that 
10 things I hate about you is, you know, um, kiss me Kate, which is the Shakespeare is, oh my God. Taming of the Shrew, Taming of the Shrew, sorry. <laughs> so that's what that's based on. And she played that very well. So I really, I really don't want to, you know, I feel like that's kind of like her thing. I think she's still acting, isn't she? I find the, be the best way to, no, I'm just going to say the best way to apply super shocks is with your finger because they're almost like a cream powder hybrid and they just stick to your fingers so well. Oh my God, Deborah Ramirez, down to you with Freddie Prince Jr. Okay, I just have to say, wasn't into Freddie Prince Jr. It wasn't into that like, again, like that generic, tall, gener generically handsome, like dark haired white guy. I just was like, uh, okay, all right, I guess if you, wish. <laughs> I mean, you need to know, I'm just like really, oh, Chase is saying me either. Me either. <laughs> Liz Chambers, that guy is milk. Wow. That is a sick burn. Calling someone milk. I'm going to do that from now on. I love that. Slash, that's mean. That's really mean. And I love that. Milk. Oh. <laughs> that's brilliant. Stephen Ford. It's hard not to conflate the roles an actor plays with who they actually are as people. Yes. For example, I'm sure Adam Sandler is a decent guy but he always plays the worst characters, except in Punch Drunk Love. Have you seen it? It's really good. He plays not a terrible character in that. And I do love Adam Sandler, but I, I totally, yes, absolutely hear what you're saying. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. Guys, look at this shade. Look at it. Especially when I make this face, look at it. And I'm just really, you know, blending out the heart. This, these really do not need to be blended very much, but I just don't like any hard edge. Cruel Intentions I just saw for the first time, like this year. I had, I, I have the main reservation I have about Cruel Intentions I'm going to retitle this after this is done. Something about like childhood nostalgia movies or shows or something, because that's what this is actually. <laughs> um, Cruel Intentions. Wait, what's her name in that? Who's the girl who can't act in that with the brown hair? Nata no, mm -mm. who is it? Who like overacts and I can't handle it. Someone, someone knows. Someone knows. Selma Blair, okay. Libby, Selma Blair. Wow. That performance in that movie, I'm like, is she trying to be like a 10 year old child? I'm really, I was appalled, honestly. I was like, this isn't even believable, this is dumb. Just when actors, like, it just was painful to watch her try to be undesirable or whatever. It was just way too far in the other direction. <laughs> I really don't, people talk about the movie so much, but I don't ever hear people talking about how terrible she is in that. I don't get it. Claire Bear Countdown. That's an amazing... That's an amazing handle. 
What is your celebrity crush? Okay, that's a good question. I'm gonna take this now and do my brow bone. Oh, I'm so sorry. Selma Blair has MS now. I'm so sorry. Well, that's absolutely terrible. I didn't know that. Um, well, downer. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. There's so much going on. I don't even know. Oh, my crush, my crush. Oh, well, let me think. Okay, well, this is going to make me sound terrible and it's going to run in opposition of what the kind of type of guy I was just talking about. Cause I said, I don't like generically handsome, whatever, like Ben Affleck. I'm like, not into that. I'm like, okay. Um, I mean, yes, you're very, all the things, but okay. Um, but Jacob Elordi, he plays Nate on euphoria. And yes, I know, I know that shows about teenagers, but he's not a teenager in life. You can Google it. <laughs> I watched him on Hot Ones. I mean, he's a psychopath on that show, okay? And no, I'm not into psychopaths. But I just think he's such an incredible actor and his energy is like goes beyond how he looks that I'm just like, you could captivate a room. I just think he has this incredible presence. And then I saw him on Hot Ones and he is so not anything like he is on that show like he is so opposite that I was and he, yes he's Australian as well I was just like sold <laughs> sold so that's like a recent person I can think of and then there was someone else honestly I'm kind of into Michael Sarah on that um Amy Schumer show It's a very different role for him in a lot of ways. What are people saying? The, <laughs> the goddess attainable. Okay, so you like skinny little weird guys. Who did I say was, I mean, I, yeah, I can. I don't really have a type. Jacob Elordi on Euphoria is the opposite of that <laughs> he's like six five or something <laughs> and yeah anyway um not not that there's anything wrong yes that's what I meant to say I really don't have a type so I'm kind of like whatever strikes my fancy um, I don't also, um, Michael Sarah, he's like a man now. Like he's a, like a full grown, like kind of like brutish man on that show. So. I could not have named more opposite people like Jacob Elordi <laughs> and, um, Michael Sarah. They're very, very different. Okay, I think we're good with the eyes. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'll try to think of, if I think of any other like crushes, I, I'll let you know. <laughs> what about you guys? Oh my God, I'm dropping things left and right. Okay. Carrie Thompson, Henry Cavill. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Yeah. Chris Pine. I mean, see now, yes, Chris Pine. Amazing. Timothy Oliphant. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Timothy Oliphant. Deborah Ramirez Breckenridge for the win. That's I that's sort of my like I like kind of weird people. <laughs> you know, like you can't put your finger Adam Driver. I mean, he's obviously like a very popular answer to that question, but Liz Chambers said, Kate, we have the same taste in men, I think. <laughs> Libby Saylor is trying so hard to give me a type. It's almost about to kill her. She's like, so you like dark, maybe. I'm assuming you mean dark hair. <laughs> um, I don't know what dark or dark presence. Um, we really can't. I don't I don't have a type. Just don't stop trying. Um, Johnny Depp. Oh, oof. I mean, yikes. He's really not doing well. Um, Liz Chambers, listening to Timothy Oliphant's interview, I'm going to line my eyes while I'm looking. On Conan O'Brien's podcast a while back was one of the funniest things I've ever listened to. Oh, cool. I'll have to listen to that. I mean, Johnny Depp, I don't know what's happening with Johnny Depp now. I really don't. So I can't comment on it. I just, I, all I remember is that whole Amber Heard situation and he's just kind of like lost it, you know, but I could be wrong. He could be like killing it now. <sighs> Michael Fassbender. You guys are naming people with like serious anger issues. <laughs> Michael Fassbender is also like falls in the Johnny Depp camp. Like, I mean, yes, he's, he's very, uh, he's an incredible actor and he's very magnetic for sure. For sure. For sure. Karen, I love John Travolta because he's a triple threat. Like, you, okay. I mean, I love John. Yeah, I love. I love a lot of what John Travolta has done, for, for sure. I need to stop saying for sure. Sorry. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, yes. Okay. Tom Hiddleston. I love Tom Hiddleston. I love Tom Hiddleston. Stephen Ford, anyone have a celebrity crush on the younger brawny paper towels guy? <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know who that is, but it, um, I don't know who that is, but that's hilarious. Sebastian Stan. Okay. Okay. Trevor Noah. Okay. Yeah. He's a cutie. Zoe Kravitz. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I just watched her on Hot Ones. Have you seen her Hot Ones? She's so cool. I mean, geez. Wow. She's such a doll. I feel like those aren't totally even, but I also don't really care. Denzel Washington, yes, okay. Ryan Gosling, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, I'm scrolling up now. Idris Elba. Wow, wow, wow. There's things are coming in fast, guys. You're coming in hot. Udo Pantograph, what about female crushes? Female crushes for me, Tessa Thompson and Jessica Chastain. Okay. I mean, those ladies are gorgeous. Bratterstein is here. Hey. Hey, Brittany. Um, we're talking about our crushes. Benedict Cumberbatch. 
Anna, enough crushes. What's your dream role? <laughs> you know what? I don't have one. I don't have one. I'm I'm terrible sometimes with like, what's your favorite blah? I don't, yeah, I don't have one. Penelope, Joel Osteen. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on to mascara. We're gonna curl the lashes. Um, Sasha, Linda's here, Linda. Sasha, Kate, would you play Hamlet? Um, I'd rather not. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. I don't want that. I don't want that work. I mean, I guess if, <laughs> depending on the situation, yes, but n please no. Okay, I am using the Ilya, I haven't pulled this out in a hot second. This is the Ilya Limitless Lash Mascara. Um, I'm amazed at the people, I mean, like, listen, I love John Travolta, but I'm, I guess I'm a little taken aback by the crush on John Travolta at this point. But, you know, listen, you gotta live your life. You know what I mean? You gotta live it. Um, that just, you know, <laughs> I loved him like in Greece, Saturday Night Fever. Um, I, I can't really do the Scientology thing. You know what I mean? I can't like anyone who's a Scientologist or maybe Scientologist. That's a no for me, dog. You're not going to Hollywood. He, yeah. There's just a lot going on with John Travolta. There's just, there's just, there's just a lot. <laughs> just a lot going on with John Travolta. Okay. Women crushes. Michelle Pfeiffer and Charlize Theron. Oh, those are good ones. Those are very good ones. I'm trying to think if I have any. I'm sure I do. Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people that I can think are attract, like I think are attractive. I can recognize that they're like gorgeous people, but I'm not necessarily personally like, yeah, let me get in there. You know what I mean? A lot of people are saying Zoe Kravitz. I think I, I think I agree with that. I think I think I have a girl crush on her. Oh, Jamie Kay's newer crush is Rihanna. That's a good one. Sorry, I'm just like Joel Osteen. Someone else is like, oh, Deb Ronca is here. No to Joel Osteen. Not hot. I mean, I can't even focus on... I can't even get to like, is he hot or not? There's so much other shit to be like, but that's to the side and oh, then I push that to the side and then we're gonna, oh, there's so much to push to the side to even try to decide, no. There's a lot to unpack there. Amy Whitehouse, some people like teeth. Truth. He's very charismatic. We can say that about Joel Osteen, can't we? He's very charismatic. He also steals people's money. <laughs> we can also say that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sorry, just spat. 
Ageless Beauty 416, Ashton Kutcher after he showers. That's hilarious. Wow. Okay, that's one eye. George Clooney. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I can't do, see Josh Hartnett. What happened to him? I think he's been in something recently. Um, I'm trying to think of someone else that I'm like really feeling. Deb, Deb Ronka still loves Brad Pitt so hot. I do love Brad Pitt. I really do. You know who doesn't like Brad Pitt? Michelle Wong. She fucking hates Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's been in our Unpopular Opinions videos. She's like said that publicly. So I feel like I can share that. But I do enjoy him and I do think he's really funny. Did I even powder my face? I don't think I did. I should probably, I mean, do I need to? Not very much, but. <laughs> Who's the hottie on Bridgerton? I don't know. I, I don't watch Bridgerton. Oh, Bratterstein. Ben Affleck still does it for me. I don't know if I'm commenting in real time, but he's still a mega hot babe to me, even with this Phoenix back tattoo. <laughs> that is hilarious. I, it's funny because he's the one person I always cite when I say like, this is not my type. Because I just, he bores me. But we can all, I think we can all agree that Ben Affleck is like a universally handsome height man. It's like a big hunk of lunk of hunk of chunk of meaty man. Oh, Karen said Robert Pattinson and Batman. Okay, I like that one. I like that. One. I th I think Robert Pattinson's great. I really do. I'm gonna take my Chantecai. Uh, expensive ass mascara and do my lower lashes with it oh wow see this is what i'm here for uh, amy whitehouse said zach galifianakis funny sexy i i yeah i love him i don't know that i am necessarily attracted to him but i think that he is you know who i can kind of get down with is jonah hill yeah Ryan Reynolds, I mean, everyone, I mean, he's like, what can he do wrong? You know, I am so sorry. I'm a, there's a lot, this, this beverage is very carbonated. So sorry. Um, I think I should have, let me just powder my under eye first. Oh, Bratterstein, I actually get the Jonah Hill thing, but I lean more towards Seth Rogen. Okay. Okay. I love Seth Rogen. He's one of my favorite people, you know, who I don't know, <laughs> who I absolutely do not know. Taylor Kinney. Wait, who's that? Taylor Kinney. Shoot, I do know who that is. I bet I forget. Someone remind me. <laughs> Barack Obama, I mean, clearly, clearly. Oh, 
how people are like, the, I'll tell you what, you bring up this topic and people just could go for days. Seth Rogen is a potter. He does make pottery, and I love that about him. Whoa, Libby Saylor can't stand Ryan Reynolds. That is a hot-ass take. Claudia, Chevy Chase. Claudia. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stand Chevy Chase. He's like a total asshole and racist. <laughs> I know why I'm laughing about that. That's not funny. I just really can't with him. Um, very talented man, though. Very talented man. Yeah, that'll kind of ruin that for me, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Oregon Fowler, we're out of control. <laughs> A young Jeff Bridges. Ooh, now that is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. See, now, I know Linda, Sam Elliott, and I, ever since I saw Roadhouse, I was like, I know it looks like I missed a lash, but there's this one part of my under eye that, like, the lash doesn't grow. So, just accept it, okay? Um... Yeah, Sam Elliott, I kind of, kind of ruined for me after his recent shit that he said <laughs> about Jane Campion. That's a no for me, dog. Yeah, Janice Manville, Sam Elliott until the other day. And yes, I am, and yes, I am canceling Sam Elliott. <laughs> Alert the media, hold the phone and stop the presses. Kate the Great Beauty. <laughs> Says no to Sam Elliott, but, but also like, yeah, no, no to Sam Elliott. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. I think the lower lashes are good. No, I need to get a couple more. Girly girl, Jane Campion, nope. Oh yeah, well Jane kind of blew it too, but we're not talking about having a crush on Jane Campion. Um, got a little mascara under my eye. Oh, Matthew Lillard. Yes, I know. Bradder Steam. I love Matthew Lillard. And I agree. I agree. He's actually like, I'm into that. He's so good on Good Girls. If you haven't seen Good Girls, it, I think it, I think there's only like three seasons, but it's great. And he's great in it. Truly. I was impressed. I mean, I love him from Scream, obviously. And he was so goofy, but he's, he's like legit on that show. Um... Okay, so now I'm going to move on to Blursh, and I'm going to show you uh, the three blushes that ColourPop sent me. Hold on a second, please. Andy Samberg. I love Andy Samberg. He's a cutie. And he's freaking hilarious. I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm, mm -hmm. Nicole, Jonathan Reese Myers or Tom Hardy? Okay, so these are the three uh, blushes. Look at how beautiful they are. And obviously I'm not going to use all of them, but I am going to just swatch them. So the shade is called Doozy. And these are the Super Shock 
blushes, which are just absolutely beautiful. I know these are, ignore the super sh uh, the shadows here, but this is, wow, that's orangey. Orangey peach. This is chamomile. Chamomile. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. I should have done them all together. Sorry. So that's more like a terracotta shade almost right there. So that's chamomile. And this is the previous one. And then um, I've lost track. This is Marguerite. They are super bright. They're super bright, but yeah, I'm going to go with Marguerite because Marguerite is like, whoa, I know it looks crazy in the pan, but it has the most like pink to it. So I'm going to do that one. Yes, Linda Griffin, I love the movie The uh, The Big Night with Stanley Tucci. That is one of my favorite movies as well. So good. Okay, now, Linda, you're in California, right? What time is it there? It's six o'clock. What are you making? Linda's always like chefing it up. She's gardening it up. She's Martha Stewart. What's happening over there? Glam and spirits. Okay, now that I'm all caught up, thank you, beautiful ladies. My celeb crushes are so basic. Matthew McConaughey and Johnny Depp. Can't even say their names without saliva building. Wow. I mean, you know, those are very iconic people. Okay. So I'm going to, again, break into the shade Marguerite, the shade right here. And I'm going to just really lightly tap in there. <laughs> and just see. See, they look wild in the in the pan, but if you use a nice fluffy brush, they're actually quite approachable. Marie Eve Goulet. Jim Carrey was my childhood crush and still is to this day. I do love Jim Carrey. What about like a crazy talent? Like what's even happening? Will Arnett. Oh, that's a good one. Will Arnett. I'm trying to think of like comedians who I kind of think are, are sexy. Um... I think Bratterstein said Bo Burnham earlier. I I mean, I don't know about like I'm into him, but like I love him. I love him. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for the blush right now and do the lips and then if we need to come back, we will. Um <laughs> Bratterstein, John Mulaney is strangely hot. Yes, I actually, he came to mind. I, I somewhat agree with that, yes. Donald Glover, oh, that's a good one. Wow, we're just like, young Richard Gere. I mean, wow, yeah, absolutely. Jason Bateman, yes! What if just, I just stand here the rest of the time and just like name people's names. Would you keep watching? I think you would. Um, Linda Griffin, Kate, have you done a bride video yet? No, should I? I don't know anything. I, I, I mean, I guess I could. I could, I could. I totally could. I don't know. I just feel like, I think the, oh my goodness, someone sent a super chat. The Udo Pantograph. Off to pack up for a trip tomorrow. Thanks for entertaining us again. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Uh, Love a super chat. Um, oh, 
Oh, Browderstein said, I feel like your makeup style is perfect for bridal. That's so interesting because, you know, two of my best friends in New York City are still doing makeup freelance. They're also performers, but um, they hate, do, uh, not that I would go and actually do bridal makeup. You're talking about doing a video, um, but they hate, they hate it because it's like, I don't feel like it leaves much room for anything, you know, and people are so particular and also like, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I, <laughs> wow. How do you feel about it, Kate? Can you articulate your thoughts? What am I trying to say? I'm just not a person. I mean, just because I don't think about marriage or I guess, I mean, I, yeah, I just don't really care about weddings. <laughs> oh God. I'm go I'm going to get canceled tonight. Kate the Great Beauty hates everything, including the institution of marriage. <laughs> but I mean, no, I don't hate it. I just don't care about it like other people. So I don't really care to do a video about it. Is that bad? I just don't care. <laughs> I Kate, Kate the Great Beauty doesn't care about brides. Headline. Nowhere. I should though, that would get a lot of views, right? I should do it. I could do it, I might do it. I won't, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lipstick. Um, I don't, I don't, everyone, <laughs> I don't hate marriage, okay? I'm being, I'm being extreme, I just don't care like other people do. Okay, so let's do um, this. Let's do all these. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Linda Griffin, I have to do everybody's makeup at my son's wedding. Why? 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 What? What are you? No they need to hire a makeup artist <laughs> don't make your mom do your everyone's makeup at your wedding <laughs> oh my god wow okay listen if you, linda if that's what you want i support you we have no money <laughs> okay understood Am I even going to open the lipsticks? I am going to open the lipsticks. Oh my God, Chase. Oh, Chase, do you do makeup? I didn't realize that. I just did a, pro I just did a bride at, in Disney at Snow White's Castle and no more. That just made my palms sweat sweat. Um, wow. Wow. That sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard. Chase. I mean, hats off. That's, wow. Well, that's really something. You know, here, here's what it is. <laughs> This is what it's like to be live. Sometimes you say something and you hone in on more about how you feel later. I just, wait, I can't decide what lipstick I wanna use. Hold on a second. Um, oh my God, Chase said it was the worst. I bet. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Honestly, like you just put everything together that sounds like a nightmare. In a castle at Disney, a bride, Snow White. I'm just like, oh my God, kill me now. Wait, let me organize my lipsticks and organize my thoughts. Oh, wow. We're someone just said M&M. We're still on the crushes. Okay. I'm kind of down with that. Let me pour another drink. What was I going to say? This is what happens. I'll think of it. Okay, so these are the, the lip lip lippies
Oh, you know what? This is what I'm going to say. Sorry. The bride, the bridal thing. While it is a good, a good idea, I don't think it's very on brand for me. That, that's what it is. Like, I just don't think it's like on brand, so, but I don't. So that's probably why. <laughs> that's a better way to say that. These are called Fresh Kiss. And I'm not going to swatch all these because I, I have two of these and I just decluttered them. I really do like them. I just, whatever, I have too much shit. Linda Griffin said, you are right. <laughs> Sasha, Kate, Disney princesses. Oh no, I, well, Disney princesses are not on brand for me either, but I meant just like a bridal tutorial is not on brand <laughs> for me. Like, I don't know who would come to me for that. Like, who's like, you know, this is a once in a lifetime deal. <laughs> I'm going to go to Kate the Great Beauty and watch a bridal tutorial. <laughs> you know. Okay, so out of all these shades, I'm sorry that I'm not going to swatch them all, but I'm going to give them away. Um, I'm going to choose this one. So I think, yes. So this is, I do like this formula. It's really nice. This is called Sun Kiss. Do you guys not know that I worked for Disney for years? <laughs> there, I'm sure there are people who don't know that here. Go and watch some of my other videos, including my cruise ship video, and then come back. <laughs> I, it's been covered. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Linda knew. Yeah, Linda knew. Linda's a phenomenal performer, by the way. Linda is a friend of one of my best friends. And she did the Wicked tour with my friend Michael. And she's super talented. Okay, so this is um, lovely because this is like a a stain. Yeah, it is. It's like a stain. I kind of forgot that. I really thought this is more like a like a gloss, but I like this. Wow, that is spring. That is spring, a spring lip. So if you're a person who likes a stain, but this does feel like not, I was gonna do a double negative. I was gonna say not uncomfortable. <laughs> um, these feel comfortable. They're a little tacky. Let's see how it dries down. I might go back in and just put a gloss over it for the hell of it, but I think this is really, really pretty. Um, so the shade, and I will go back and, um, remember to put, cause I know I didn't specify the color pop shades cause I didn't know what I was going to use, but this is called sun kiss and this is the fresh kiss. Um, it's everything should be, I linked the whole collection in the description box. I really looking at myself on the screen down here, I have to say this eyeshadow is doing it for me. I love this shade so much. I just think it's so incredibly gorgeous. This is Ray Day is what it's called. And now I have to do a highlighter. Duh. So anyway, a separate topic, my, my, my two good friends I was talking about who are makeup artists have been doing bridal makeup recently. And they are like, I, like they get a Marco Polo and like, I am never fucking doing a wedding again. I wanted to jump out a window. So <laughs> I'm glad that when I was doing makeup freelance for, you know, the couple years that I did it, I, I never did that. And I consider myself lucky. So this is the Lisa, sorry, this is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. <laughs> I'm 
Chase, tell your friends I get it. Yeah, I think Chase wins. I, I think I think you're you won the contest of worst gig ever. Again, just like a beautiful subtle blur. I think that suits this look really well. I'm hoping that this blemish kind of looks like a mole. Mabes, Mabes. Let me back up here a little bit so you can see the full thing. The full thing. Yes, so good. One of my favorite Lisa Eldridge um, products for sure. Was the L Lisa Eldridge highlight liquid or foundation on the cheek? Was that the, okay, so this is, what I just used was the Lisa Eldridge elevated Sorry, Seamless Skin Elevated Glow as my highlighter. So pretty. Okay, so that is the finished look. She's very springy. She's very dewy. She's very fresh-faced. She's very bright. Um, I am going to put a gloss on over this. Um, now that this is setting, I will say, not uncomfortably so, but it is the tiniest bit tacky. Tiny. Um but for me what will make that better is to put like um a plushest gloss over it so I am going to you guys know I keep pulling this out this is my Pat McGrath Lust Gloss and Earth Angel I feel like this is gonna let's zoom in yeah let's zoom in See that, that, that did it though. That just really did it. Um, okay. So that is the finished look. What did I love? I'm trying to think. I loved, um, the eyeshadow. I do love the lip tint. I think these are great if you want, if you're looking for a lip stain, and I love the blushes are, you could see like that went on really, they are bright. They're very bright. But the thing about this is you don't have to just get this collection. You know, they have tons of other super shock blush shades that are a little bit more muted. I just really love how this, again, is like a cream to cream slash powder hybrid. Um, anyway, that's it guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, of course, to ColourPop for sending me all the goods. I'm going to throw what I didn't use into my giveaway pile because we're working on 25K here. And uh, you guys are the best. Please, if you haven't given this a thumbs up, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you because that's where I usually like announce when my live streams are going to be. And if you want to stay up to date on anything with my channel, just make sure you hit that bell because that hypothetically should work sometimes it doesn't but it should so do all those things and i'll see you guys next time cheers bye